Hello everybody, my name is Louis Kim, and we'll be going over the secondary worksheet, lesson 24. So, to start off with, we have expanded form, um, and it says to write the given numbers in standard form. Now, what it means in standard form is simply what is simply just a single number. So, let's say, uh, let's take number 2 for example, 90 plus 3. Well, that's pretty simple enough, right? That would simply just be 93. So, essentially what this this problem ask is problem is asking you to do is to just simply just add the numbers. Now you might take a look at number one and it might seem it might seem a little difficult at first until you realize that they contain zeros in each of the numbers. So this is what we would consider an expanded form. While we are adding numbers, this adds up to a singular number because of the ten thousands, one hundreds, tens, and ones place. So Really, you wouldn't have to do any math at all. Instead, all you have to do is just fill in the places. So, 10,000. And instead of writing 0, we would write 7. Because it's the 700th place. This is the 100th place. Next, we'll write 30. Because because 30 is in the 10th place. And then finally, we would write 9. So, our answer will be 10,739. Alright. Three-digit addition. Three-digit addition is similar in similar to adding an ex, uh, adding to send four, except that this time you are combining tens places, ones places, and hundred places to one another. So let's take a look at number one. Whenever you are adding big numbers such as 300, 168, or 382, or 153, I would recommend writing in a vertical form. So in a vertical form. 300 and 168. We would write 300 plus. Make sure to look at the. Make sure to look at the what the problem is asking you to do, and plus 600, 168. Now, now what we would do is add these one at a time. So zero plus eight. What's zero plus eight? Well, because zero doesn't really add anything to eight, we could just write zero. We could just write eight instead. Again. What's 0 plus 6? Or, if you like to consider it, 0 plus 60. 0 plus 60, again, same thing applies to what happened in the 1's place. You would just bring down a 6, because 0 doesn't add anything to 6. Finally, for the 100's place, 3 plus 1. Well, 3 plus 1 is easy enough. That would be just 4. So, what would you get? 300 plus 168, you would get 468. Sometimes there will be problems where you will have to carry over, where you will have to carry over the, you will have to carry over the, a, a number. So for example, let's say this was 304. Well, 8 plus 4 equals 12. However, we can't just write 12 in here. Instead, what we would have to do is put the 1's place, 2, in there, and move the 10's, the the 1 over to the tenths place, because 12 is 10 plus 2. Oh, okay. 10 plus 2. So, we would move the tenths over, bring the 2 down here, and again, instead of 0 plus 6, you would actually do 1 plus 0 plus 6. So what's 1 plus 6? Well, that would just be 7. And then, of course, 3 plus 4 is 4, and then say so you get 472. So that's if you have a number that creates a creates more than the digit's supposed to be. So let's say a tens place creates a hundreds place number, or a ones place creates a tens place number. You would need to carry over uh, the tens place or the hundreds place to the respective area it is in. All right, let's move on. Symmetry. Tell whether the line of shape is a line of symmetry and write yes or no. Now, what a symmetry is is Basically, if a if a shape can be closed onto itself. So what I mean by that. So basically, if I were to fold, let's take a look at number one. If I were to fold this shape on the dotted line, so let's say this triangle, what it would get is the exact same side. So it would it would need to be uh, it would need to be exact same side. So if I were to fold this, let's say I were to fold it right over there, I would get this shape. It's not a perfect shape, but it would be the exact replica of this shape. So, for this one, you would write yes. 
the line on the shape is the line of symmetry. So let's try number let's try number five. Or let's try actually yeah, let's try number five. So for the shape, it has a line of symmetry right in the middle. Now of course you can say, well, there's a line of symmetry right in the middle down there. Of course, but that's not what the question is asking. It's asking whether there's a line of symmetry right there. So, again, we'll compare the two sides. Does this side look the exact same as this side? Well, no. And to further prove that, if we were to fold this over the line again, we would get this shape. In which this folded over would pr produce this shape. That's not really a perfect fit. So, for number 5, we would write no. Alright. Finally, we'll move on to our word problems. So, let's just start with number 1. Ashley has 13 stuffed animals. Her friend Jake has 10 stuffed animals. How many stuffed animals do they have all together? So, when you read out the question, always it's very important to always write out what they give you. So Ashley has 13 stuffed animals and her friend Jake has 10 stuffed animals. It is asking how many stuffed animals do they have all together. So from here, you will be able to figure out that if they're asking how many stuffed animals do they have all together, this is of course an addition problem. And of course, you could use the vertical method in which you add 13 plus 10 in which 3 plus 0 equals 3, and 1 plus 1 equals 2. Or, you can cross this out and add this to tenths place, because you realize that this is just a tenths place. But, that's for another time. Oh. Alright, so what you would get is, they have 23 stuffed animals. Alright, so that'll be all for today. Thank you guys so much for listening, and have a good rest of the day.